The yarn over drop stitch technique creates a fabric that has these long drop stitches that can create sort of a lacy look. It also gives you a bit of a deconstructed look and it's a really easy technique to incorporate into a simple piece of knitting. I've got a little swatch going here just of some knit rows and some garter stitch. And I'm going to show you how to do the yarn over, which is also a technique that's used a lot in lace work. And it's really just um, an increased stitch that creates a hole when it's worked. So to begin, we're going to knit the first stitch. And a yarn over simply is just moving the yarn over as you would if you were to be working the next stitch as a purl stitch but in this case we're going to go ahead and continue working a knit stitch so now what we've done is created this extra loop here in between our two stitches this is the yarn over so to create that yarn over drop stitch effect we're going to yarn over in between each knit stitch of our row so each time we do this we are increasing by one stitch yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, all the way down the row. And the last stitch will be knit one. So now as you can see, we have a lot more stitches than we originally started with. To get that drop stitch effect, when we work the next row, we want to drop each of those yarn overs that we created in the, the row before. So I am going to purl this row and drop the yarn overs as I'm working down the row. So you want to purl the first stitch and then just let that yarn over fall off of your left needle. Purl the next one, let that yarn over fall off. You could do this if you were knitting this row as well. The motion of letting that yarn over fall off is the same. So we're just going to do this all the way down the row, purling each real stitch, which you can see has this little purl bump, and letting the yarn over, which is just a little loop of yarn that's running over the needle. That's what we want to allow to fall off, not our real stitches, which do have that purl bump there. We're going to knit those, or I'm sorry, purl those, and let the yarn over fall off. We're just dropping these stitches. So, when we reach the other side of our work, to begin the next row, you can see we have all of these drop stitches, kind of like a little lace work effect, giving you that deconstructed look. And it also makes the fabric grow a little bit quicker. So there you have the yarn over drop stitch technique.